Hello YouTube and thank you for joining me once again for another snuff review and the snuff that we will be reviewing today is Viking snuff Thor's hammer here's the, uh, the tin here obviously you've got the, the standard Viking helmet there and Thor's hammer I meant to say in my last video uh, I want to comment a little bit on tins um, I quite like the tins, they're the same as the Sam Gowith tins, these ones. They're tricky to um, first open because they're, they're like vacuum sealed. So a little tip, uh, you can use anything you want, a coin is the perfect thing to use. Uh, since I don't have one by me, I'll show you the easy way of opening them when they're tight. Use something thin like a coin and all you do is twist on the edge there and you see how it will just lift that and it will break the seal. So all you have to do is just, just lift it off there and you'll be left with an open tin. So, what is Thor's Hammer? It's not a very descriptive title. Um, I'll read you the description. Viking Thor's Hammer Snuff is a blended snuff made from high quality dark fire cured Virginia seed leaf from the hu hugely popular Viking dark and high quality flu cured bright Virginia leaf. Sorry, I struggled to say that. The result is a real pure tobacco scented snuff, which is strong and aimed at the snuffer that likes a pinch with a hit. So this should suit. Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll first go into the close up and then we'll get on to reviewing the snuff. Alright, so let's have a uh, bit of a closer look at the Thor's hammer. Uh, this is take two of the close up being that I forgot to press record on the sound for the last one so we've reset everything up uh, I've got a slightly easier config here with my light box so it should be somewhat easier to uh, maneuver around so let's first have a look inside the tin uh, this is it's quite a dark snuff this and it does tend to clump a little bit so you know just be just be mindful of that there are some small clumps in there that just seem to stick together and they don't want to come out but most of these big ones you can just knock them out as you take in the pinch so from what you can see here it's, it is quite a fluffy snuff it's um, very very easy to take and I can just smell that aroma from here it's fantastic that smoky you know, flu cured tobacco is really nice. So I'll take a little scoop here, and uh, we'll just spread it out and have a little look at the uh, the texture. There we have it. Let's just zoom in a touch. So there you go. Um, you can see it's quite it's quite long it's quite it's grounding quite long strands, uh, which I think is is part of the reason it makes it so easy to take and keeps it so fluffy. Uh, but it does like to clump up, you know. As you can see, while I'm rolling it around here, you can see all these little clumps just forming, um, and they are quite tough little clumps of tobacco. So just bear that in mind when you're taking it. But apart from that, you know, it's what you would expect from Viking. It's good quality snuff, smells fantastic, uh, and it's got a good nick hit. So, let's finish the review. Right, so let's take a pinch of this. Um, I do like Vikings um, snuff, it's always nice to take. I think I've reviewed um, Viking Blonde before, maybe Peach, not, I'm not quite sure. So you can instantly tell, um, you know, it's a little bit more nicotine in this one than normal snuffs, well, average, let's say. That You've got that dark, smoky, flu-cured scent in there, which is probably going to be personal preference as to whether you like it or not. Uh, I do. I really like this um, kind of flu-cured smokiness. It's kind of... Uh, it's hard to describe without you actually smelling it, kind of like campfires, rural, you know, out in the countryside. That's what it reminds me of anyway. 
it's nice and fresh. You can tell out of the tin it's, it's slightly off centered, which you can tell. Um, you know, it's a fresh tin. A reasonable burn from this one, I'd say. Um, nothing over the top, though. I wouldn't let it put you off if you were thinking about getting this one. And it's kind of a. You get a prolonged mild burn with this one, so it kind of lasts. I feel like this is going to be the kind of snuff if you like. Uh, easy to take snuffs that are going to give you a decent hit you can take out with you all day this is going to be um, a good snuff for you so I'd say um, from me it'd be a thumbs up for the Viking uh, Thor's Hammer snuff it's probably up there with one of my favourites um, Viking Blonde is good as well but this I, I like that extra little hit and this is definitely what you get from Thor's Hammer um, it's nice and easy to take, you know, the tin's reasonable. They do have the little rubber seals inside the top of the tin there. So it's going to, I mean, it's going to stay fairly fresh. You'll be better off storing it in some sort of sealed jar if you were going to, you know, keep it for a while. But if you're buying a 25 gram tin and if you're buying it to use it, it's going to be absolutely adequate, no doubt. Um, so, yeah, there's not a lot to say about this snuff. Um, I think most people would enjoy this. Uh, it's a nice scent, nice burn, nice strength. Grind is good. It's going to be easy to take. Um, and yeah, I give, definitely give this a thumbs up. So uh, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching another review. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.